CFM 567B Fan Blade Installation. This video training aid deals with the installation of fan blades, retaining rings, and spinner cones on the CFM 567B engine. It is intended as a supplement to the information found in the relevant technical documentation. For a complete description of the procedures, refer to the latest revision of the Aircraft Maintenance Manual and Engine Shop Manual, ATA Chapter 722100. The tooling used in this video is what the technical documentation recommends. However, due to different line capabilities, alternate tooling options may be used, provided they meet the requirements of the installation procedure. At this step, fan blades will have been sorted by mapping distribution and parts lubricated as specified in the technical documentation. Turn the fan disc in order to place fan disc slot number 1 in the 6 o'clock position. Install blade number 24 in its slot immediately left of slot number 1. Push the blade rearward until the lug on the rear of the blade engages the booster spool recess on the fan disc. Lubricate the two seals of the platform to be installed. Lubricate the locating pins on the fan disc and booster. With slot number 24 at 6 o'clock, engage the platform immediately left of the fan blade's convex side and push it fully home. Do not forget that fan blades are installed in the clockwise direction, as seen from the front of the engine and that platforms are installed on the convex side of the blades. Engage the spacer in slot number 24. Install blade number 23. Lubricate platform seals. Lubricate locating pins on the fan disc and on the booster. Install the platform on the convex side of the fan blade. Install the spacer in the fan disc slot. Repeat the sequence. Fan blade. Platform, spacer up to blade number four. For the last three disc slots, install blade number three and its platform, then fan blade number two. The following sequence applies either to installation of the last blade from a complete set or to reinstallation of a single blade. Install blade number one in its dovetail slot. Remove the spacer from under blade number 24. After lubrication of platform seals and locating pins on the fan disc and booster, install the platform. With your left hand, lift the rear of blade number two and push the front of it down to the bottom of the dovetail slot while you engage the platform. Keeping the platform in the horizontal position, engage it in between the fan blades and push it axially. While you lift the rear and push down the front of the fan blade, pull the adjacent blade with your elbow. Repeat the process to engage the last platform. Note the position of the fan blade dovetail at the front making sure that the blade root engages in the slot of the booster spool forward flange. Push the platform horizontally with your thumb. You must feel when the rear pin engages the rear swaged bushing. If not, the platform will not engage in the final position. Here you can see how you guide the rear of the platform with the thumb of your left hand. When you feel the rear pin engaging the platform bushing, with the thumb of your right hand, push down the forward face of the platform to complete the installation. 
Place the last installed blade at 6 o'clock and install the last spacer. Make sure that the blades, platforms and spacers are in their correct positions. Bring the lugs of the retaining ring in front of the scallops on the fan disc and engage the retaining ring on the fan disc forward flange. Do not use a tool to install the retaining ring. Turn the retaining ring as required to bring its lugs in line with the fan disc lugs. Install three guide pins equally spaced on the fan disc flange with one at 12 o'clock. If it was previously removed from the spinner rear cone, heat and install the retaining flange, making sure you place the offset hole in its correct position. Heat the rear flange of the spinner rear cone, then install the spinner rear cone, aligning the offset hole. Tighten and torque the screws. Check that the flanges are seated correctly, as specified in the technical documentation. Install three guide pins equally spaced. Heat the front flange of the spinner rear cone. Install the spinner front cone, aligning the offset hole, and secure with bolts.